Okay, so this is the Volt electric car, really cool. I like it a lot. However, uh, it's um, equipped with an OnStar system, which uh, does a lot of good things, but it also allows to track you. So anybody from a remote location, not anybody, OnStar, um, can uh, track any time you go anywhere, so follows you with the car. Also, on track um, can uh, eavesdrop, really, can listen to conversations because there's a system built in which allows to talk to the OnStar people. So if you go inside the car, here uh, OnStar is built. Here in the ceiling, you have the OnStar buttons. If you press the button, OnStar person comes on anytime, any place, and you can talk to them, which means they can hear you, which uh, tells me that... Uh, if somebody unauthorized uh, wanted to from OnStar, they could just activate the system and eavesdrop second, um, they can uh, track you anywhere they want. If you want to disconnect the OnStar, the only way to do it is uh, by just disabling it mechanically. OnStar has a fuse. Uh, the fuse box is right here by the driver's door. So you open the driver's door. Um, here there is a side panel. You can easily just pop it open. And there's a fuse box here. And uh, fuse number F9, which is right this one. You can just ease it out. It's a little bit stuck there. Okay. It's out. So I just took this fuse out, and now OnStar doesn't have power connected to it. And uh, to verify exactly the position of this fuse, um, there is a chart on that panel that I popped, and it explains what's where on the panel. So that's convenient. Uh, so, after doing that, I felt that there was still possibility probably to eavesdrop to conversations. Uh, so I decided to go one step further and disconnect the antenna uh, from the OnStar uh, unit. OnStar unit is uh, right here on driver's side. Here you have the pedals, the, the acceleration and the brake. And if you go further up here, it's a little bit dark. Uh, so I put some light here. The unit is built in here, and uh, I'll just reach up there and just loosen the box of that unit. Okay, I got it out here. So that's what the unit looks like. Okay, this is what the box looks uh, looks like after I pulled it out. And there's connectors. On the left hand side, there's two power connectors. So don't touch those because uh, power is needed to come to this box to operate the car. All you want to do is to d disconnect the little burgundy connector here. It's maroon color here, this connector. You want to just uh, pull it out. Just do it now. So now the connector is off. Notice that this connector has to be had to be squeezed to pull it off. There's a latch. This part here. So you just press it when you want to move it. You just press it like this, and that latch opens it up and um, opens up, and then you can remove the connector from this uh, pin here uh, which is uh, keyed so if you want to put it back in remember that this is keyed so there is uh, notches that have to match the indentations in the in this plug here There's two indentations plus a side thing but I remember always about pressing the latch here 
that will snap it in place. So now the box is disconnected and you can put it back in place where you got it from. So I'm now snapping back in the OnStar unit back where it was. So the OnStar unit now is not visible. It's up there, hidden, and uh, the system is disconnected. The OnStar light, you will see if, if I were to turn the car on, it would be red up there instead of green. But don't worry about it, just leave it the way it is. Uh, I snapped the panel for the fuse, the fuse panel back on. So that's, let me just redo it one more time. So the car is ready to go. Nobody can track you now. Nobody can follow you or eavesdrop on your conversations. You have your far privacy fully restored. Um, it won't affect the way the car drives. It's back the way it was. If you ever want to revert it back to the way it was, just remember, put the fuse back here and restore the connector, the maroon connector to the OnStar box. And that's all guys.